Coach, how you doing? Good. How about you? Doing all right. Ready for some questions? I'm ready. Okay. Let's go. Whoever's ready, use the uh, hand raising function and we'll get started. Let's go Jake, then Chris. Coach, I wanted to ask you, on the coordinator's corner, you mentioned the fact there's a chance that James Ampey, Keanu Saliapaga, and Tristan Hodge are all potentially available this week. Any update in terms of that? Are they still on track, or what, what's the status? Um, I would still say all all up in the air. Sione Finau is another one I would add to that. All those guys, I would say, are um, in the position that they might be um, – they might be available, but we're really going to have to see how the next 48 hours goes with them um, before we make a decision. I also wanted to ask, in terms of a short week, you guys have to travel to Houston, obviously. What's the biggest key for you guys to be prepared for this game with one less day of preparation? Well, I think we've done most of that um, just in terms of really getting to work fast and and flipping the page from our last game. I think our players have done a good job of that yesterday. Um, they came in ready to work, and we told them we were going to get a jump on certain situations, which we practiced yesterday that we wouldn't normally do on a Monday, had a, had a longer practice on a Monday than we typically do. And so I think we've, I think we've done a good job handling the short amount of work and, and being ready quickly in, in terms of handling the mental part of it. And, and now it'll be a, a similar um, kind of last couple of days of just getting, getting ourselves tightened up on a few scheme and, and uh, technique items. Uh, yeah, coach, kind of big picture now, four games in, uh, Zach, the numbers he's been putting up at quarterback have been pretty eye-popping. What, what have you seen that has been the biggest key to step up he's made this year? Well, I would say um, first he's, he's healthy. Um, you know, he came in last season and had the shoulder surgery and his, his arm was not at full strength, and I think everyone could see that. And then was beginning to play himself back into position where he was feeling more comfortable and then had the thumb and then came back and didn't have full grip strength. And so I think the first thing is just that he's healthy and the ball's jumping out of his hand at, um, much with much more velocity than it did last year. And then I think the next thing is just the mental part of the game. I think Coach Roderick, Coach Roderick has done a great job working with him and Zach has done a great job just studying and becoming – more knowledgeable of our system, being in the system for a third year, I think certainly helps him. And then I got to point out that his teammates are doing a really good job too. He's got a good line in front of him and he's got a lot of guys that are making plays around him. In, in you obviously you've been the coordinator for a while now. I know you've tried to bring in different things from different offenses, but what about it uh, do you think is making it click so well this year in terms of who you have available and how they fit in what you want to do? I think I think first is just having a number of guys back with experience. I mean, pretty much everybody that we're playing with now has played in this system. Um, most guys for, for two years, this being their third year in the system now. So there's just a greater amount of experience in playing college football and then a greater amount of experience within the system with the same coaching staff. And so you've got, uh, you've got that stability, the continuity that comes with doing the same thing for, for a greater amount of time. And, you know, we're playing with mainly upperclassmen now for the first time since I've been here. And so I think it's just a combination of, of those things. And then, and then then the other part of it, I think, is that we as a coaching staff probably understand these players better ourselves, and we understand what they do best, and, and I think we're probably doing a better job making, making good decisions and putting them in position where they can, they can really play to their, to their best skills. Appreciate it. Go ahead, Mitch. Yeah, Jeff, uh, what maybe attributes or – characteristics stand out when you watch Houston from their one game that they've played thus far on defense? Um, explosive. Just big, powerful, fast guys at every position. I mean, they've got um, a very aggressive style about how they play in the defensive line. The ball is snapped, and they're up the field in your face, and they're attacking every play. 
Um, they've got linebackers who, who um, has fast triggers and they're on you in a hurry. A lot of times it's not a blitz, but it feels like a blitz because they're filling those gaps so quickly. You got big safeties that are big hitters that can also cover. They play a lot of man match type coverage where even when it looks like a zone, it's really got a lot of man elements to it. And they've got the kind of guys who can, who can, uh, who can stick on you man to man. And so I, I really don't see a, a weakness at any position. And they've got guys who, who, are, who are big and explosive at every spot. And to this point of, of the week, I know it's a short week with, with practices, but how have you felt about just maybe the, the energy or the, the, the level of intensity that the, the players are maybe showing this week leading into such a, a big game this Friday? Yeah, I think we're where we need to be. I think so. I think I feel like um, we've had two good days of work, good focus from the players, and I think they recognize that this is a, a sizable challenge in front of them, both with a short week and a really good team that we're about to play. Go ahead, Jake. Coach, I wanted to ask you about Tyler Algier. He – made the position changes the last couple of years between running back and linebacker. What about him as a running back makes you think that he has a can, well, I guess maybe rephrase that. What makes you think that he can be your lead back? Why is he so effective? Uh, he's a, he's a great combination of speed and power. You know, he's a, he's a thick dude. That's, that's really strong and powerful. Uh, but he's got the speed to run away from people too, and so I think you're you're seeing that when he gets in the open field, he's not just a not just a, a plugger that's going to run between the tackles and and get you those hard yards. He's a guy that when he gets to the second or third level, he can stick his foot in the ground, accelerate, and run away from someone. And so I think it's the combination of of those two things, and um, you know he really fits well what what we like to do on offense. We're a wide zone running team more than anything. And we're asking for guys to be one cut runners and get on their track and make a decision to get north and south when, when the lane presents itself. And, and that really suits his, his skill set. He's known as a bigger back. We list him at 220 pounds. Is that unique that he has the ability to be that one cut guy at the size he plays at? Um. Well, I think I don't know whether it's unique, but I would say it certainly it certainly fits the better running backs that I've been around. If you have a guy that has that combination of size and speed and power and all those things going together, I think that's what that's what makes him special. I mean, there are a lot of there are a lot of faster, shifty guys who are maybe smaller and uh, maybe not as durable and maybe get knocked down a little bit easier with contact, and then some bigger guys who who uh, may not have the same um, ability to accelerate and make the big run. I think it's that it's that combination of those things that that makes a really good back. I've got one more question for you. I wanted to ask about your tight ends. We've seen the wide receivers get a lot of the, I guess, pub because of the stat lines they posted, Gunner and Dax. But in terms of the guys replacing Matt Bushman, how have they done? It's a pretty young group, but how have they done overall, in your opinion, through four games? I think they're all making progress for young guys. I think Mason is certainly the one who's who's probably progressing the fastest, and you're seeing that with the number of touches that he's getting and the number of plays that he's getting. And you may not – a lot of people may not notice how many how many plays he's getting necessarily, but he's blocking better than, than any of those guys. Um, and he can catch the ball out of the backfield. He's a nice – um, addition as a runner from the backfield as well when we play him at fullback and so he's got he's got a lot of a lot of tools and he can do a lot of things to to help our team and I've really been pleased with his with his development as a blocker he's got nice hands he can catch the ball out of the backfield as well and so I would say that Mason is the one who's made the most progress this year and then I would say all those other guys are moving in the right direction but but not quite where they need to be yet. That's why you're seeing a little bit smaller role from each of them. Go ahead, Mitch. Yeah, Jeff, just real quick. Uh, you know, this being only the second uh, trip you guys have made on the, on the road or coming up this weekend, uh, what, where would you say the offense has improved the most since that first week against Navy and, and also an area that you're still looking for some improvement? Um. You know, I think I think we've we've improved just um, 
as a, as a group with our, with our timing, whether that be the running back in synchronization with the O-line and the, and the tight ends in the run game, or whether that be a, a receiver making his break at just the right time when Zach's being, being ready to deliver the throw to him. So I think, I think the biggest thing is we've just improved our timing. Um, and then the, the improvement that, that I'm looking for still is just greater consistency. You know, I mean, the, the penalties that we had in the last game and um, having a turnover, um, we had a couple of missed assignments, not a lot, but just a couple of things here and there that just kept us from uh, executing a drive and being able to finish that drive. And, you know, again, it might be something nobody really noticed, but maybe we should have identified this backer as the key and we actually identified that guy. And so we didn't get everybody on track the right way um, in the run game. And maybe we came up short on a run or maybe it was a, a pass and, and the receiver wasn't in exactly the spot that Zach expected him to be in. And so uh, just greater level of consistency in the details. And I think that will eliminate some of those penalties and uh, an occasional turnover and any of those, any of those little things that, that can keep us from, from executing and, and uh, continuing a, a drive. Any other questions for Coach Grimes? Okay. All right. Thanks, Thank guys. You.